to rebound from the pandemic. And in Pueblo, they've actually moved to level blue restrictions. They have even more leeway down there. News 5's Natalie Chuck is live with to hear some hear from some businesses in the Steel City, Natalie. Yeah, Elizabeth, I'm in Papa Jose's right now. And last time I was here, I was here covering their outdoor patio that they had gotten. There weren't even tables and chairs set up inside. But today at lunch, it looked pretty much back to normal and it was pretty busy in here. And Papa Jose's is not the only restaurant in Pueblo feeling the excitement about our new place on the COVID-19 dial. Level blue? I really didn't believe it. Almost sounds too good to be true. Feels like we're finally moving in the right direction where for so long it kind of just seemed like we were treading water. That's the owner of Squat Coffee, Marielle Scher. Until moving into level blue, Squat could only hold four people in the cafe's small space. Now they can have up to 10. The fact that like earlier this morning we finally had somebody sitting upstairs is huge. Restaurants all over town are feeling the good fortune. Yeah, well, we miss everybody. Papa Jose's was almost at capacity with hungry customers inside for their lunch. We found out about it uh, Sunday night and Monday morning of course, we had to, to jump on everything. A hustle that's well worth it for customers. There's so much good food here in Pueblo to enjoy. <laughs> and it's not the same on a takeout. I'm sorry, but it, it just is better. It's warmer. It's uh, more enjoyable eating here at the restaurant. And what does Level Blue mean for Pueblo's perspective of the pandemic? On the fact that we were able to jump from orange to blue all in one step was, was uh, very good news and it kind of shows that we're headed in the right direction. And another perk of being in level blue on that COVID-19 dial means that last call at restaurants who choose to do so is from midnight now. It's at midnight now instead of 10 p.m. Just in time for Valentine's Day. Always watching out for you, Pueblo. Natalie Chuck, News 5.